Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with a quick update. I picked up the well, I didn't pick it up, but I had it sent to me. Shout out to my man Pendelos Murthos. But I got the uh, Gray Hulk here, the 80th anniversary Marvel Legends Gray Hulk. I was also able to get the uh, 80th anniversary Deadpool, which I haven't opened yet. Uh, I'm surprised I opened this Hulk. I mean, the packaging on these 80th anniversary figures are so nice, especially the Hulk figures. I still haven't opened uh, the SDCC 2019 Hulk. Um, I did open the box set that had Hulk and the first appearance Wolverine. Um, but when I saw this, I really wanted to get him out of the package and I started to actually do like a real dynamic sort of fight scene with Wolverine and, uh, and Grey Hulk here, but I, I changed my mind and I just switched it up and I got them kind of on timeout and I've got <laughs> Professor X back there. I've been meaning to use this old um, record player here that came with one of the Muppets figures. So I've been trying to get that in the setup for a while. It was broken and I was able to uh, crazy glue it and give it a little fix. So that was that, but something real clean, cropped and contained here, the triple C's of ACBA. Just want to go over a couple uh, little display tips real quick. So like I always tell you guys, I always shoot, uh, or always set up within the frame of the camera. So I'll set up my camera and then I'll start setting up my uh, scene within the viewer. That way everything is already ready to go when I'm, when I'm ready to start shooting pictures. When I'm putting together sets, I like them to look authentic. So what I was going for here was just maybe the den or some room within the mansion and Professor X is uh, kind of scolding these two. They're on timeout. I've got the bookshelf. I've got the, um, I forget where that, I think that's Marvel Select, that sort of fireplace back there. And then a little, the little uh, desk where the record player is on. And it looks like they're just both kind of soaking here. And I do little funny stuff like this. Like I use the pipe that came with Hulk just so I can cover those holes on the bottom of his feet. Because I don't really like the way that looks. You know, I never Photoshop anything. So there's a lot of people that when they display, they'll Photoshop out the joints on figures. And Photoshop out uh, any... Um, writing that may be on the figures i still kind of want to try to find a way to cover up that little writing on hulk's thigh but you know i never photoshop anything i just kind of work with, with what i have being that i use the vintage wave wolverine i didn't have another set of hands to put on them that would match that were uh, without the claws so i just kind of hid them back there his claws are actually still on but the way uh his uh, arms are positioned uh, they're kind of hiding behind Hulk's leg and his foot. And uh, I added the shirt on Hulk just to give a little more color to here. To sort of pop. I want to make sure that's sitting right. And little things here like the books down here. I could still add a little more props just to give it a little added um, detail. And, you know, I just tweak as I go along. Make sure everything looks clean and then just start shooting. Shoot pictures and add and take away things as I shoot pictures so I have variants. And that's that basically. And just a couple of news items to note. Um, Yamaguchi is actually about to drop the um, My Hero Academia figures. The uh, I don't really know anything about that anime. Uh, the main character, what's the main character's name, Kendall? Deco, and what's the other guy that he's always trying to be like? Okay, so there we go. My daughter's schooling me on anime, and um, um, Yamaguchi's also about to drop a Wonder Woman figure. Which, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, Mafex revealed the uh, Hush Superman figure, which looks amazing. I called that a minute ago. I said there's no way they're going to do a Hush Batman and not do a Superman. So, looks like this may be our best 6-inch Superman ever. It's looking like it's shaping up to be uh, in the same... Uh, vein or the same category as the Mafex Spider-Man just for DC basically so he's looking really good Mafex is also about to drop a carnage figure at some point these are all reveals from a show that's popping off somewhere far in the far east right now I don't know the name of the show if you know let me know in the comments below and then um, uh, yeah carnage looks great so you can pair him with uh, Venom and uh, Spider-Man you know a lot of people were a little upset about the size of Venom he was a little undersized in my in my opinion so we'll see what they do with Carnage he may be even smaller 
and Venom, we'll see. And then uh, SH Figure Arts Bandai Tamashi Nation is about to put out, well, a pre-order will probably go up shortly for the Mandalorian figure. I was very tempted to pick up the Star Wars Black Series version, but I knew that SHF wouldn't pass up, so I, I kind of waited. And I think I'm going to go with the SHF version, although his head is looking a little tiny. Quite a few people pointed that out. But if you're not checking out The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, you need to make it happen. I'm not checking it out on Disney Plus. <laughs> on Disney Plus, I'm a pirate, but uh, I've been I've been checking it out. Me and my daughter have been watching it, so it's uh, actually really enjoyable so far. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to chop it up with you guys for a couple minutes. Um, I did do an overview of the Alpha Flight Box set, so that's up on the channel. Check it out. Support. Rate. Comment. Subscribe. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. I'm gonna keep rocking out until the new year and see what happens with all of this uh, copper law stuff on YouTube. I will have some links in the description for some uh, petitions and some way that you guys can get involved and try to fight back. And I'm just trying to do my my due diligence. So I've been trying to do my due diligence and find out as much information as I can before I really speak on it. I'm still kind of feeling like things will work out and it won't be as bad as uh, a lot of us or a lot of people have been anticipating but we'll see in the meantime i will have some information in the uh, in the description so that way we can kind of uh fight and and hopefully uh everyone's channels will, will be saved and we'll be able to still do our thing here on youtube if not listen man something will happen uh there's no way that um some other platform won't uh pick up the slack and and, and make it happen and we'll still be able to earn revenue and all of that good stuff so i'm just taking it one day at a time literally one hour at a time and as i continue to uh research and read then i'll, I'll be making a final decision about about the channel uh come january all right so yeah just stick it out with me and um i'll talk to you guys soon all right peace